What's up guys? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I'm here with my brother-in-law Nathan. He's behind the camera right now. We're waiting on his brother right now. Um, he's getting the dogs together. We're in East Texas. I know a lot of people think East Texas people are weird and all that, but they're not all weird. These uh, these guys that I'm running with today, they're pretty cool. But they go hog dogging all the time. I've been with a few times. It gets pretty crazy. It's fun. And uh, I've been wanting to come back for a long time. So he finally called me and said they're going today. So me and my wife, we met him at church, went to church with him, ate some lunch, and now we're here. About to go out. Hopefully get something caught before the sun goes down because uh, I want you guys to be able to see it and see what's going on. I'm going to try to rig a GoPro up on a catch dog, but I don't know if we'll be able to work it out. So stay tuned. We're about to load up, and then I don't know where we're going after that, but we're going to go try to catch some swine. Go check him out. I'll leave him in the description. He uh, trains duck hunting dogs, right. and uh, dog. he's pretty dang good at it. So go check him out. This is Jonathan. That's a swine killer. This is Lewis. Lewis. He Louise. calls me Louise. Louise. Is it Louise or Lewis? You can call me whichever. Lewis. Yeah. Lewis. Oh, look at that big old boy. Have you never met him? Jonathan, what's the plan? Let's see if we can get on him. trying to get out of this rut right now but uh so essentially what we're doing they let the bay dogs out he's got four bay dogs and two catch dogs and uh you just let the bay dogs out let them do their thing hopefully they catch a track and uh they'll go bay one up and then once they bay one up we'll go as far as we can in the ranger and then uh once we get as far as we can in the ranger then we'll take off and go catch the pigs We got dogs barking. Jonathan's trying to get unstuck. One pit got away. We got the other pit right here. You know our seats are covered in mud. We're about to get on some swine. And I'm still out of shape. Ah, ah, ah. 
A big pig. Big old sow. <laughs> Alright, so probably not gonna be able to show me stabbing that pig, but y'all know what happens. You stick a knife in it. Big old sow. About to run out of battery. So I'll see you guys on the next pig, hopefully. Alright guys, we got the trailer unhooked so we could get back here through that mud. But the dogs are baited up again, and we got the pits this time. We got. Do we have both pits? Just one. Just one. All right. Got my cold steel from Air Force. Put her to the test, baby. Do the trick? This one? Yeah. Dude, this knife is so sharp. Super slippery. I don't want him to fall in the water with that camera. I'm gonna take the back straps out of this old boar. Cook up some chops tonight, but this water is cold. Last day of March here in Texas. Yeah, it got to 30 degrees last night, but I was sweating from that run, so that water felt pretty good, but I'm sure that ride home will be pretty oh, chilly. Yeah. So, we're gonna get these back traps out. We'll see you guys back at the uh, Can Am. I mean, <coughs> the uh, Ranger. Pioneer! I mean, the Pioneer. Got us a big old piece of back strap. So, we're feeding the girls a night for dinner. <laughs> so, we're gonna get back at it. Uh, dogs are baited up again. We're gonna see what happens on that one. And then uh, we're gonna head back to the house and then go thermal hunting tonight. So. <laughs> We got the meats. Make the ladies happy, bring home the meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good, guys. All right, guys, we're caught again. We're running over to him. I think just to catch dogs on him this time. I'm too out of shape for this. hard to carry dinner when you're trying to kill some more pigs. Oh, I got him. Thank you. Can you imagine after nine? Yeah. Guys, it's getting dark on us. We, uh, that's three pigs in about 45 minutes. Jonathan's got some good dogs, him and his buddy Lewis. And, uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up with the dogs for today. We're gonna head back to the old, uh, whatever his machine is called, and then uh, go back and cook that back strap up and get ready for the night, go out with the thermal, we'll see if we can't shoot a, another, a few other pigs or a coyote or something. Good. I left you guys last night. We were exhausted, I was freezing. We had like a five mile ride back to Nathan's house and I was soaking wet. Me, Jonathan, and Lewis were soaking wet. So uh, came in, took a shower, and we went to bed. But 
I cut up all the uh, that tenderloin into thin strips, and then I put some. I'm trying something new. I've never used it. Coconut flour, and I put some just some different seasonings in it. So I'm just gonna throw these in this bag and roll them around and. Big cutting board. Alright guys, these little golden pork nuggets are done. Nathan just got home from work for a little lunch break. So feeding boss man. Let's see what you think. Trying to dip in ketchup. Yeah. Tender? Mm. Pretty good. Alright. A little chewy. Chewy? Uh-huh. It's a big boar hog, so. But good for a boar hog. It's got good flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well good. as you guys can see, the uh, fork was good. Angel don't we on camera. Like it. Let's do a little taste test. Gotta dip it in ketchup, it's the Texas way. Whoops. Why is her bad? My piece is tender. That's good. If you guys have never fried up some pork uh, back straps, you ought to do it. Super good. Ethan, his little brothers are coming to pick me up. We got a, uh, I brought the old blow gun. So they're gonna try to put me on a rabbit, see if we can't go get us a rabbit with the blow gun and, uh, cook it up they build all kinds of stuff they're always in the woods so I'm sure they can put me on something but uh, I'll see you guys whenever they get here this is Braden and Carson they're about to take me hunting Just better tree house than any grown person can build, I can tell you that. I'll take y'all up in there and see what it looks like. That's pretty impressive. Did you need to set up a deer feeder and hunt I'm out of it? I'm going to. Make sure you got to help me. You know that saw deer out here like a month ago? Or, no, deer season. Dang, dude. Get you a TV in bed and live in here. Look at that. Dude, this is awesome. Cut down a lot of trees for it. <laughs> Did you? Leave it in the comments what you guys think about this tree house. I think it's pretty awesome. I know I couldn't build anything this good. All right, guys, we're gonna go see if we can't find a rabbit. Get with the old blow gun. Our little hand getting the gate for us. How old are you, Braden? Eleven. How old are you? Fourteen. What's your pig's name, Braden? Otis. Otis? Yeah. How old is he? <laughs> like three, months. Three, three months. three months. three months. Three, four months. Alright, we didn't find anything back in their back pasture. So we're going to check out their pig real quick and then we're going to run down the road and see if we can't find something to get with the old blow gun. Otis? Otis, come here. Come here. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey. Ow. Does he bite? Uh-uh. He'll, he'll snap at you when he gets hungry. Come here. <laughs> Game plan's changed. We're squirrel hunting now. We hear one right now, but we can't see it. The trees are starting to get all their leaves back, so it's really hard to see. But... Let's 
Well, me and Carson and Braden couldn't find any squirrels or rabbits, so I gotta head home. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Something a little different, going uh, hog dogging. I know I had a blast. Uh, big thanks to Jonathan and Nathan for taking me out and Lewis. But uh, stay tuned for the next video. Should be something fun. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.